Hi there, my name is Alan Khan, I'm a medical student. I've been asked to conduct a cranial nerve examination on you. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, my name's Aidan Cross, and I was born on 20th of October 1991. Okay, so the examination will involve me assessing the nerves that control the muscles of your face and neck. Will that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Do you have any pain anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. Can I call you Aidan? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Now I'm going to test your sense of smell. Um, have you noticed any change in your sense of smell recently? No. No. Okay, fantastic. Can you cover your left nostril for me? And blow out. And the same with your right nostril, please. Okay. Can you close your eyes for me? Covering your left nostril. Tell me if you can smell this, please. Coffee? Fantastic. And the same with the other nostril. What can you smell? Coffee. Yeah, it smells like coffee as well. Fantastic. And relax. Okay, next I'm going to test your vision. Okay. Do you normally wear glasses or contacts? No. No. Okay. Okay, so behind me there's a chart. Can you read the lowest level for me, please? Okay. U A Z N F D T. Fantastic. And relax. Next, I'm going to shine a light into your eye. Okay. Can you look directly at my nose? I'm going to come a bit closer. And look directly at me, okay? Okay, fantastic. Next, can you look straight ahead? Yep. And I'm going to put my fingers in front of you and look at my fingers when I ask you to, okay? Okay. Look at my fingers and relax, look, back, look forward again. Great. Next, we're going to assess your visual field. If you can cover one eye for me, and with that, I'll be moving my finger around whilst you focus your gaze at me. Okay. Just let me know when you can see my finger. Okay. Okay? Fantastic. Let me know when you can see my finger. Yeah, I can see it. Fantastic. I can see it. 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 Yeah, I can see it. Fantastic. And the same with the other eye, please. Okay. Just let me know when you see it. Yeah, I can see it. 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 And I can see it. Great. We're now going to assess your blind spot. Okay. This will involve me moving the stick whilst you focus your gaze at me. Okay. As I move it around in your field of vision, the tip should disappear. All right. When this occurs, let me know. Okay? Yeah. Fantastic. If you can cover your left eye for me, please. And move a bit closer. Just let me know when it disappears. Okay, it's gone. And when it reappears. Okay, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And I can see it again. Fantastic. And the same with the other eye, please. Okay. Just focus on me. Okay, it's gone. And when it reappears. Okay, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And I can see it again. Fantastic. Relax. Next, we're going to look at the back of your eye. Okay. This will involve me showing a bright light into it and coming quite close to you. Would that be okay? Yeah, it's fine. Fantastic. Okay, can you come close to me, please? Okay, look up for me, please. And look down. Look left. And look right. Great, and the same with the side. Look up for me. Look down for me. Look left. And look right. And straight ahead. We're now going to assess your blind spot. Okay. This will involve me moving the stick whilst you focus your gaze at me. Okay. As I move it around in your field of vision, the tip should disappear. All right. When this occurs, let me know. Okay? Yeah. Fantastic. If you can cover your left eye for me, please. And move a bit closer. Just let me know when it disappears. 
Okay, it's gone. And when it reappears? Okay, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And I can see it again. Fantastic. And the same with the other eye, please. Okay. Just focus on me. Okay, it's gone. And when it reappears? Okay, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. And I can see it again. Fantastic. Relax. We're now going to assess the movements of your eye. This will involve you looking at my finger as I move okay. it. If you can keep your head straight and let me know when you, when you see double vision. That's fine. Then. Okay. Any double vision? No. 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 And any double vision there? No. Fantastic. I'm now going to have a look at the muscles of your face and the nerves. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. This will involve me just touching parts of your face with this. Okay. Okay. It should feel like this. Yep. Okay, first, can you close your eyes for me, please, and let me know when you can feel it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And relax. Mm. I'm going to apply this to your eye. Okay. It may cause you to blink. If you look to your left for me, please. Open wide, nice and wide. You look right for me, please. Okay. Hello. My name is Dr. Gill. I'd like to do a cardiovascular examination of yourself today, if that's all right. Okay. Um, that's going to involve looking over your hands, checking your pulse, going over your face, getting you to take your shirt off, and having a look at your chest and also your back. Is that all right? Yeah, that's okay. Excellent. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth before you go any further? Yes, my name is Aidan Cross, and I was born on the 20th of October 1991. Excellent, thank you. So if I can get you to put your hands out first for me. If you turn your hands over for me. If you'd be kind enough to put your fingers together like so for me. And I'm just going to take your pulse. Okay, that's excellent. I'm just going to take a higher pulse, if that's right. Now, I'd like to do your blood pressure. Have you had your blood pressure done before? Uh, yes, I have. Excellent. And were there any problems with that? Uh, no. Exactly. Okay. Do you have a preference to which arm we should use? Um, no. You okay. So we'll use your uh, right arm if that's okay. Do you have any problems in the arm at all? Uh, no, not at all. Excellent. Okay. So we'll put the blood pressure cuff on, and I'm going to inflate it twice. Once just feeling your pulse, and once listening with the stethoscope. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do the same again. Excellent, thank you. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to t take your arm, hold it, and I'm going to raise it above uh, your head. And I'm going to move it from your elbow. Mm -hmm. 
That's fine. Okay. So I'm now going to have a look over your face, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. If you could look up for me. Okay. And look all the way down. Okay. I'm just going to have a good look. Okay, so if you could just show me your tongue now, if that's all right, please. Okay. And if you could put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm now going to have a listen over your neck. I'm just going to manually check the pulse there as well. So I'm just going to put my hand there. That's great. And similarly on this side. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. And hold it. And breathe normally. Same again. Take a deep breath in for me. Hold it. And breathe normally. Um, next stage, I'd like to actually have a look at your chest, if that's okay. So if I get you to take your shirt off for me. That's fine. If you could just relax for me. Okay, and just take a deep breath in for me. And out. Excellent. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and see if I can feel where your heart is beating against your chest wall. Okay. okay so. roll slightly to the left for me. Excellent, that's fine. So relax for me. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hands on your chest. Bit of pressure. That's great. Okay. Um, I'm now going to have a listen over your chest. Okay. So just going to take your pulse as I do so. Just breathe normally for me. So. Okay, if you can roll to your left, please. That's fine, thank you. Okay, if I can get you to sit up, I want to have a listen to your chest again. Okay. Okay, okay. so if you sit forwards for me. Okay, now I'd like us to breathe together. So we're both going to breathe in, and we breathe out, we need to hold our breath out. So breathe in, out, hold it. And breathe again. Thank you. Once I've got you sitting like that, I'm just going to have a quick look at your back, if I might. If you could cross your arms across your shoulders. Brilliant. That all sounds good. And I'm now going to have a quick listen. Take a deep breath in. And out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. And out. In. And out. Just going to press over your lower back there. Fine. So if I could get you to lie back. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable lying flat? Yeah, that's Okay, fine. so I'm just going to lie you flat now and then we'll have a check of your stomach. There we go. So if you'd like to lie back there for me. Okay. I'm just going to press in deeply on both sides of your stomach. That's fine. Okay. Um, and a little bit more to that. I'm just going to sit you up once more and press on deeply into your stomach again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you could lie back for me, uh, and if you could relax your head against the bed for me, and turn your head to the left. So I'm just having a good look at your neck. Okay, and I'm going to press down deeply on your stomach. Do you have any pain here? Oh, no. Excellent. So one, two, three. Excellent. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. As a final thing, I just want to get you to take your socks and shoes off so I can check the pulses yeah, okay. in your feet. Any pain in your ankles at all? No. Okay. Just checking your pulse now. And then behind your ankles.
just there, a grand. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So to complete our examination, what I'd like to do, I'd like to do an ECG, so have a look at the electrical activity of your heart, okay. get a sample of your urine, have a look at that, do a chest x-ray, um, and review um, any of your bloods that we've got. Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr Gill. Could I confirm your name please? Lucy Brown. Excellent. And can I confirm your date of birth? Um, 1st of January 1987. Thank you. Um, I'd like to perform an examination of your thyroid gland if that's alright. So that'll involve looking over your hands, having a look at your eyes, um, examining around your neck, tapping across your chest and having a look at your reflexes. Is that alright? Yes. Thank you. So to begin with I'd like to have a look over your hands. If you could put your hands out like so for me. Thank you. Good. You can turn your hands over for me. Excellent. Whilst your hands are there, I'm just going to check your pulses. Lovely. Now, whilst we've got your hands out there, could I just get you to put them out once more? I'm just going to put a bit of paper on them, so just relax there for me. Okay, okay. That's lovely, thank you very much. Right, uh, at this point we'd like to check your blood pressure. Have you had your blood pressure done before? Yes. Okay, um, do you have any preference to which arm? No. Okay, so we'll do this arm if that's right. If I could get you to pull your okay. sleeve up. So we'll do this twice. Um, the first time without the stethoscope and the second time with. And just confirm there's no problems with this particular arm. No. Excellent. Okay. So just relax for me. Nice and relaxed. There we go. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to do the same again, but with the stethoscope. Okay. So once again, if you could just relax for me, just relax your arm down. Lovely. Superb, thank you. So I'm now going to have a look over your face, if that's okay. So if I get you to uh, look up for me. Okay, and then down. That's fine, thank you. I'd now like to have a look over your eyes, if that's quite all right. So if I can get you to put your hand over one eye for me. Can you see my finger? Yes. Brilliant, if you could swap hands for me. Can you still see my finger? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so if you put your hands down. Now, what I'd like you to do is keep your head still, and if you could just follow my finger for me. So, look at my finger. And down. And down. And down. Okay, any problems with that? No. Excellent. Now, I'm going to draw a different shape in the air. So, if you keep your head steady and follow my finger, we want to know if there's any double vision. Any double vision? Any double vision? Any double vision? Any double vision? No. Any double vision? No. Okay. Any double vision? Any double vision? No. And finally, any double vision? No. Excellent. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to have a look at your throat, if that's all right. So that'll involve you taking a sip of water, holding it, and when I ask you, swallowing it. So if you could help me by moving your hair back, please. Mm. Okay. If you'd like to take the sip of water and hold it in your mouth, And swallow, please. Excellent, thank you. So if I could get you to swing your legs over to the side of the couch for me. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a look at your eyes from behind. So if you could look forward for me and just raise your head up for me. Okay, that's fine, thank you. And we're going to do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to put my hands on your neck. If you'd like to take the water in your mouth. And please swallow. That's excellent. I'm just going to quickly examine your neck. 
See if there's any lumps and bumps anywhere. Fine. And just over your clavicles. Right, um, I'd like you to lean back if that's all right. And I'm just going to tap across your chest. So if you could lie back there for me, I just might feel a bit strange. That's excellent. And I'm now going to have a listen over your throat. Okay, so I'd like you to take a deep breath in for me and hold it. And breathe normally. And if you take a deep breath in again and hold it. Thank you very much. One of the final bits I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to press over your ankle. Thank you. And now we're going to check some of your reflexes, if that's quite right. So with your sitting there, I'm just going to tap your arms. Okay, so if you go nice and, nice and loose for me. Okay, and go nice and loose on this side, lovely. If I could get you to swing your legs around for me. So next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to test your reflex. That's all right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And one, two, three. Okay, that's lovely. I get you to kneel on the bed like so. We're just going to test your ankle reflexes now. So stay nice and relaxed for me. That's lovely, thank you. Hello, my name's Dr Gill. Uh, I've been asked to do an examination of the muscles and nerves that control your head and neck. Is that okay? Yep. Excellent. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth? It's Rachel Bathay, 1st of April 1990. Excellent. And have you had an examination like this before? No, I haven't. Okay. So to start off, we're just going to have a look at the uh, muscles that control your face, if that's okay. Yep. So if I can get you to take your glasses off for me. Okay. First off, we're just going to see uh, if you can blink properly, and that's going to involve me just tapping your um, forehead. So just relax for me. Okay, so we've got that's fine there. Um, the next thing I ask you to do is raise your eyebrows up as high as you can for me. Okay, that's symmetrical. And if you can screw your eyes tightly for me. Now I'm just going to put my hands on your face and try and open those eyes. That's fine, thank you. You can open your eyes again. Um, the next step, if I can get you to show me your teeth, please. Excellent. And relax. And now if I can get you to blow your cheeks out, and I'm going to try and tap on the sides. So. Okay, that's fine, thank you. The next thing I need to check, it's more about getting information from you. Have you noticed any change in your sense of taste at all? No. Excellent. So, moving on from here, we're going to have a look at your sense of hearing, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you aware of any difficulties with your hearing at the moment? No. Thank you. So, I'm going to get you to close your eyes, and then I'm going to make a noise by each of your ears. I want you to tell me which ear you can hear a sound in. Okay. okay. Can you get you to close your eyes, please? Left. Right. Thank you. You can open your eyes. The next bit of the examination we want to do, I'm going to get this tuning fork, and I'm going to place it in the centre of your head. When I do that, you'll hear a noise, you'll hear the vibration inside your head. I need to know if you can hear it in the centre, or if you hear it towards one ear or the other. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So can you hear the noise? Yes. Okay, and is it central, or to one ear or the other? Central. Okay, thank you. From here now, we're going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to place the tuning fork on, the, on a bit of bone at the back of your skull. Okay, and I want you to tell me when you can no longer hear the tuning fork. At that point, I'm going to bring the tuning fork to the side of your ear, and I want to know if you can still hear it. Okay. okay. If I can just get you to move the hair back from your ears, thank you. Okay. So tell me if you can hear this. Yep. And tell me when it disappears. Now. Okay. Can you hear it now? Yes. Okay, that's fine, thank you. And we're going to do the same the other side. Can you hear it there? Yeah. Tell me when you can't hear it. Now. Can you still hear it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Right. Okay. Right. If I get you to take the glass of water and take a small sip for me and swallow it. Okay. And any problems with that at all? No. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, I'd now like to shine a light on your mouth, if that's okay. If I can get you to open your mouth and say ah, nice and long for me. And say ah for me. Ah. Uh... Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm now going to have a look at your um, shoulders and neck, if that's okay. So I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders and I'd like you to shrug up against me. Okay. So if you could shrug for me, please. That's fine. And if you can do the same thing again, if you can push your head into my hand. Excellent. Okay. And I'd like you to turn into my hand, so push. That's fine, thank you. And if I can get you to touch your chin to your chest. Thank you. And all the way back for me. That's fine, thank you very much. And finally, if I can get you to put your, stick your tongue out for me, please. Thank you. And I'd like you to push your tongue to one side of your cheek. Okay, thank you. And the other. Okay. That's fine, thank you very much. Have you got any questions yourself? No. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. Um, could I confirm your name, please? Uh, Carl. And your date of birth? 6th of January, 1990. Thank you. Um, I'd like to go on to perform an abdominal examination today. Is that all right? Yeah. So just to clarify, that will involve looking at your hands, going over okay. your head, and checking for any areas of pain or tenderness and problems on your tummy. Is that okay? Excellent. So to start off with, if I could take you to, get you to take a deep breath in for me, please. Hand out. Any problems with that? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, if I could put your hands like so for me. And turn your hands over for me, please. Okay. Thank you. If you'd be kind enough to put your fingers together like so for me. Thank you. Uh, and to complete, if you could stick your arms all the way out for me, spread your fingers, and now cock your wrists back. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to go and have a look at your face now. If you could look up for me. And look down for me. Show me your teeth, please. Thank you. And stick out your tongue. Excellent. Thank you. Um, I'm now going to have a look at the lymph nodes, so the lumps and bumps in your um, neck. Um, if I could get you to turn around and face this way for me. So I'm going to put my hands around your neck from behind now, starting off under your chin. Thank you very much. If I could get you to take your shirt off now and we'll do the abdominal examination. Is there going to be any problems lying you flat? Brilliant. Okay. If I can get you to take a nice deep breath in for me again and out. Thank you. Now before we go on, are there any areas of pain or tenderness on your stomach at the moment? Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to go around lightly across your abdomen. Okay, any problems with that? No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit deeper now. Okay, any problems there? No. Nope. Right. Now we're going to have a look for your liver and then your spleen. If you could breathe in for me, please, and out, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out, Thank breathe you. in, and out. Okay, I'm now going to tap down across your chest. That's fine. Now same again, breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out, breathe in, breathe out, 
Breathe in, breathe out. Right, any problems there? Okay, press it back. And again, I'm just going to press down hard. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to have a listen over your stomach for a moment. Okay, thank you. Um, for the final bit, I'm just going to sit you up again, uh, and I'm going to put some heavy pressure over your abdomen. Yep. All right? Okay. You're going to lean back for me. Okay. So I'm now going to press quite firmly on your stomach. So if you can get you to turn your head that way for me, and I'm going to look at your neck as I do so. That's fine. Thank you very much. And finally, I'm just going to press down over your shins. That's fine. Thank you. So to finish off things, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get a sample of urine and have a look at that. We'd also do a check of the external genitalia and a digital rectal examination. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. I'd like to do an examination of your hips today, if that's okay. That's okay. Before we start, can I confirm your name and date of birth? Paul Landing, 21st of the 12th, 1991. Excellent. So to start off with, we're going to have you walking up and down, then we'll measure your legs and we'll get you to do some movements of your legs. Is that okay? That's fine. Right. So if I can just get you to walk up and down for me. Brilliant. Okay, and if you could just stand over here for me. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hands on your pelvis, like so. And if you can raise this leg up for me. And relax. And if you can raise this leg up for me. Okay, that looks fine, thank you. Now, if we can move on to the couch. So we're just going to look round now over the pelvis and your hips to see if there's any areas of discomfort or tenderness. Do you have any pain anywhere down there? No. Okay, so if you can lie flat for me. So I'm just going to press over your pelvis like so. Any problems with that? No. Okay. And any pains or discomfort there? No. Or there? No. Okay. We're just going to measure the length of your hips now to start off with. So I'm just going to get the tape measure. And I'm going to start off from there. All the way down. I want to do the same again on this side. Okay, so they're the same. And if you can just show me our umbilicus. And I'll do the same again. That's fine. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to put my hand at the lower of your back. Okay, and if you could raise your knee up to here for me. Okay, that's fine. Hand down again. And we'll do the same again on this side. Raise up. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Right, the next thing, if you could raise this leg up as high as you can for me. Any problems with that? No. Nope. Okay, hand down again. And we'll do the same again. Raise this leg up for me. And all the way down again. Right, and if you take this leg out to the side for me. And back in. And then across the leg as far as you can to the other way. Brilliant. Okay, have a relax for me. And do the same again with this leg as far as you can. And then all the way back across. Great. Okay, relax for me. And I want to push, push against my hands. And push your legs in. That looks grand. Now just raise that leg up again for me. That's fine. And push down to the bed. Same again on that side. Raise this leg up. And push down to the bed. Great. If I can just get you to lift this leg up for me. Okay, we're going to go. And then, any problems with that? No. Okay, we'll do the same again on this leg, so if you lift it up for me. And we'll turn it this way, and that way. Any problems with either of those? No. Okay, that's great, thank you. Good afternoon, my name's Aidan Cross, I'm one of the medical students here, and I've been asked to do a respiratory exam on you today. What they'll involve is having a look at your hands, checking your pulse, checking your blood pressure, having a look in your eyes, having a look in your mouth, and then ask you to take off your t-shirt so I can have a listen to your chest as well. Does that sound okay? That's fine. All right, can I start just by confirming your name? Uh, Tom Grant. And your date of birth? The 4th of August, 1987. Fantastic. And how would you like to be called today? Tom's fine. All right, Tom, would you mind just lying down for me?
All right, would you put out your hands? Spread out your fingers and lift your hands back. Great, now can I have a look at your hands? So do you put them out again? I'm just gonna squeeze on your finger. All right, and now would you turn your hands over for me? Now I'm just gonna examine your hands. And the other one. Now you just put your fingers together like that for me. That's great, thank you. Now I'm gonna check your pulse. That's great, thank you. All right, now I'd like to check your blood pressure. Is that okay? That's fine. Have you had your blood pressure taken before? Yes. All right. And do you have an arm that you prefer? No preference. All right. So this shouldn't hurt at all, but let me know if it does. That's great. Okay, I'm going to inflate it a couple of times. It shouldn't hurt, but let me know if it does. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do it one more time, all right? Okay. That's great, thank you. Now I'm just going to examine your eyes, okay? Okay. So now would you just look up for me? Can I just lift your lids down? And look up for me? And now if I pull your eyelids up, can you look down for me? Thank you very much. Now would you open your mouth for me? Stick your tongue out and now put it to the roof of your mouth. That's great, thank you. Now I'd like to have a feel around your neck and feel for any nodes or lumps in your neck if that's okay. That's okay. All right, would you just take off your t-shirt for me and put your legs around the other side? Now would you just lift your shoulders up and push them forward for me. That's great, you can relax now. All right, now I'd like to examine the nodes in your armpit, so would it be okay if I just do that? That's okay. All right. So would you just give me your arm and just let me take the weight of it.
I'd like to do the same on the other side. And just let me take the weight of it again. Okay. That's great, thank you. You can just lie down again. Okay, now I'd like to press down into your tummy. Do you have any pain anywhere? No. Okay, well do let me know if it hurts at all. Would you just look to your left for me? Okay. That's great, thank you. Now I'd like to just examine your neck, if that's okay. It's okay. Great. Now I'm just going to examine your chest. I'm now just going to continue examining your chest. Would you just lean over for me? That's great, thank you. Now just take in a deep breath for me. And out again. That's great. Now I'd like to just have a tap over your chest if that's okay. Okay. And would you put your arms behind your head so I can do the same just under your armpit? Fantastic. Now you just relax again. I'm just going to press down on your chest. And would you just say one, two, three for me? Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, and would you put your arms behind your head again? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's great. Now I'd like to have a listen to your breathing. So would you just continue to breathe normally for me? All right, now would you put your hands behind your head again for me? That's great. I'd like to do the same again, but this time would you just say one, two, three again for me? Okay. One, two, three. 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 And put your hands again behind your head. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now I'd like to do all that again, but on your back. So would you mind just leaning forward for me and putting your arms like this, just crossing your arms. Okay, now I'm just going to do the same thing again. Would you just say one, two, three for me? One, two, 
one, two, three. One, two, three. That's great, thank you. Now I'm just going to listen to your breathing again, if that's all right. So just continue to breathe normally. Okay, would you just say one, two, three again for me? One, two, three. 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 Okay, while I'm here, I'm just going to press into your back as well, if that's okay. I'm just going to press on your back now. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Would you just lie back down for me? Now, I'd like to have a feel of your leg if that's okay. So I'm just going to lift up your trousers and pull down your socks. And just press here for 10 seconds. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot. Okay, that finishes our exam, um, but I'd just like to check your peak flow. I'd like to check your inhaler technique. I'd like to check your spirometry results, and I'd also like to check just the nodes around your groin as well. Would that be okay? That's fine. Okay, you can put your t-shirt back on now. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Do you have any questions at all? No questions. All right, great. All right. right. Hello, my name's Dr Gill. Hello. Uh, we've been asked to do um, a gal screen, so that's going to look at your gait, arms, legs and spine. Is that all right? That's fine. Okay. That, just to clarify, that'll involve um, checking over your joints, see if you've got any tenderness or stiffness there, getting you to take off your um, shirt, having a look over um, you, and then having a look at you on the couch and moving your limbs around. Okay. Can I just clarify your name and date of birth? Yeah, it's James Boycott, 17th to the 9th, 87. Fine. Now, before we go any further, I'd just like to clarify with three questions. Do you have any stiffness in any of your joints? No. Okay. Are you able to dress yourself in the morning? Yes. Okay. Um, and do you have any um, difficulty going up and down stairs? No. Excellent. So to start off the examination, if I can use it, walk forwards and come back again for me. That looked fine. So if I can get you to take your t-shirt off now, please. Okay. If I can get you to put your hands out by your sides. Okay, that's fine. And just turn 90 degrees to that way for me. So I'm just having a look at your spine from the sides. So neck, back, and lower back. Okay. All of those look fine there. And turn, to, uh, turn away from me. That's so I'm now just going to have a look at the movements of your lower back. I'd like you to bend forwards in a moment from your hips only. So I'm going to put my fingers on your back. Okay, and if you could bend forwards for me. That's fine. Okay. And come backwards for me. That's excellent. Okay, thank you. So if you turn to face me. Okay. So um, I'd like to see if you can touch your sure. left ear to your left shoulder. Okay, and back to the center. Right ear to your right shoulder. And back to the center. Put your head all the way back and bring it back to the front and down to your chest and up again. If you could open your mouth as wide as you can okay, and close it. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to check if you've got any tendons over your shoulders. Is there any, any problems there? No. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Um, keeping your arms by your sides, if you can reach down to try and get to one knee that's fine, and bring it up and reach down to the other knee as best you can. Excellent. Okay. And so we're now going to have a look over your arms and things, if that's okay. So if I can get you to put your hands behind your head for me. Okay, that's fine. And put your arms back by your sides, straight out. Okay, and flex up to your shoulders. Okay, that looks great. And at 90 degrees for me. And turn out and turn in. 
Okay, that looks great. And if you could put your hands, I'd like you to get you to touch your um, thumb to all of your fingers individually for me, please. That's excellent. Thank you very much. And I'd like you to make a fist. Okay, and relax for me. And I want you to squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Really go for it. That's fine. And relax. And I want you to put your hands like so for me. And hold that there for a moment. Is there any pain or tingling of your fingers? No. Okay. And if you could go the other way for me. Is there any, pain? any tingling in your hands at all there? No. That's fine, thank you. Okay, so put your hands back like so, with palms facing down. I'm just going to check temperature. That feels fine. I'm going to squeeze over your knuckles. Do you have any pain there? That's fine. So I'm quickly just going to squeeze across your fingers. Any pain or tenderness here? That's fine, thank you. So if we could get you to lie down on the bed, if that's okay. Sure. We're going to have a look at your okay, legs. Thank you. So we will just like to go over your legs now, if that's quite okay. To start off with, just can we clarify again, do you have any pains in any of your, uh, anywhere on your legs at all? No. Excellent. Okay. So I'm just going to check if there's any temperature. No, that's fine. And now I'm going to press down on both knees. So. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'm now just going to sweep around your knees, okay? Okay. And same on this side. Okay. That looks fine. Thank you. So fine. So if I can get you to lift this leg up as high as you can for me, that's fine. Put it down. And then lift this leg up. Fine. That's fine. Put it down for me. Okay, if we get you to move your uh, knee up to your chest as best you can, and I've got my hand under your back, that's fine, and relax. And we'll do the same again on this side, so I'm putting my hand under your lower back, and raise your knee up, that's fine, thank you. Um, I'd just like to move your legs if that's okay now, so I'm just going to pick it up, in, and turn it out. Any pains with that? No. Okay, we'll do the same again this side. So pick it up, turn the knee in, and out. That's fine. If you can move this leg out to the side, and then back across the midline, and then your other leg out to the side, and back across the midline. So we're just going to have a look at your feet now. So if I can get you to raise your feet up to the ceiling, okay, that's fine, and push me away. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. That completes this examination. Have you got any questions at all? No. Super, thank you. Right. Hello, uh, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your shoulders today, is that all right? Of course. Excellent. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth? It's Tom Rowling, 6th of the 4th, 1991. Thank you. And before we start, do you actually have any pain in, any, uh, in your shoulders at all at the minute? No. Excellent. Okay, if I can get you to stand up, please. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to have a look at your shoulders, if that's okay. So if I could get you to take your shirt off, please. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a look around your shoulders, looking for any problems that there may or may not be there. Okay, that seems fine. Now, if I could get you to step over here and just press your hands against a wall, pushing forwards for me, please. Sure. Okay, so having a look at your scapula at the back, that's all normal. You can come back for me. Okay, so I'm now just going to actually touch around across your shoulders, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. right. Please tell me if there's any areas of pain or tenderness. Okay. okay. And just along the side there, and across the back. Okay, I'm just going to check for temperature. I'm going to do the same again from the side. Any areas of pain or tenderness there? Not at all. Okay. Right, we're now just going to do some movements, if that's okay. So I'd like you to copy if possible. So if you could put your hands behind your, by your sides and then lift up to put your hands behind your head. Okay, thank you. And relax your hands back by your sides. Okay, uh, what I'd like to do is push your arms all the way forwards for me. 
Brilliant. And then back as far as you can go. Thank you. Okay. If you could put your hands by your sides, and then with both arms going up together, okay, and as high as you can go. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to do that once more, So, but I'll be standing at your back this time. So, so if you could move this arm up to the side for me, as high as you can. Excellent, thank you. And do the same again with the opposite side. Brilliant. So what I'd then like you to try and do is move your hands up your back as high as you can go with one arm. Okay, so move your arm up your back. Okay, that's grand. And swap arms for me. As high up as you can. Okay, so they're the same. Brilliant. Um, if I can get you to put your arms at 90 degrees like so. And just rotate out for me. And then back in. Okay, that's grand. And if you relax your hands at the side and then if I can get you to touch one, your right arm to your left shoulder and relax and similarly and then going round the back okay, thank you and the same with the opposite side okay that's grand and, and relax there so we're going to do the same movements now but I'm going to get you to try and resist some of my move uh, some of the movements so if you could put your arms at 90 degrees again for me now try and try and turn out for me Okay, that's fine. And turn in for me. That's fine. If you put your hands by your sides and try and raise up for me. Okay, and push down. That's fine. And we're going to see if we can get you put your hand behind your back and I want to see you push away if possible. Okay, and then push away. That's fine. And rest, change arms. And then push away again. Okay, that looks fine. Thank you. Okay, the final thing that uh, we need you to do, if you can put your right arm out straight, okay, with your thumb up, and then just rotate it down. Okay, that's fine, and we'll swap and do it with the other arm. So if you put your arm up straight with your thumb up, and then rotate it down. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Um, so that concludes all of the things that we need for the shoulder examination. Have you got any questions at the moment? No. Okay, thank you.